Plus Tube. Welcome back to my channel, Mandy Needs Stitches. Um, you can find me here on YouTube as Mandy Needs Stitches, as well as on Instagram at Mandy Needs Stitches. Same name. <laughs> um, this is my channel about cross stitch, mostly cross stitch, some quilting. Um, won't see any of that today. I've just been doing a lot of cross stitch. Um, welcome back. I have been gone for the past two weeks I think we were we were on vacation with my family in Washington State um so for those of you who are new here I currently live in Georgia with my husband um and so we just took a took a trip back with my two kids and me mm -hmm. to visit my family for a couple of weeks it was a great trip um I really miss the Washington weather <laughs> at least in the summertime um it's it's just a fun place to be um, in the summer. But because I was gone and I had some help with the kids, I got a lot, a lot, a lot of cross stitch done. So there's a lot of finishes. Um, I when I got home, I did some FFOs, so I have a couple of those, a couple of finishes, lots of all because I, I don't know, lost my mind <laughs> when I was on vacation. Just felt like I should order all the stuff, um, and then some what. Um, so let's get started. Let's see. First, I'll show you. Um, this is these are the cottages of the month um, by Little House and the Works, and in the uh, doing a stitch along with Happy Little Stitch Shop. I'm gonna do this with August. Let me show you how I finished it. And here is September. Um, this is a little just a little clipboard frame that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, a couple months ago, but anyways, September, I put it on mat board and to mat board, covered it with the background of fabric. Um, this is stitched over two on a 32 count white chocolate linen with the called for DMC. So cute. Um, these stitch up pretty quick, a couple days of stitching in there, they're done. Okay, there's one FFO. Sorry, I gotta put this stuff on the ground. Um, the second one, so this was last month. This is the uh, Trapping Along by Priscilla and Chelsea. Um, our stitching with the housewives. So this was August. Uh, this is the, the frame came from Lila May Designs on Facebook. Um, and so there was my finish of August. I don't think I showed that in my, in my other videos. And then I so I finished that and I um, got September FFO'd. And there's September. Super cute. Um yeah, just finished again on that board. Um, I'm in the that quarter shop club for this, so I get I get the I get as everything that's called for. Um, and yeah, that hangs, hangs on my phone. And I like changing, changing them out. Um, okay, this was another FFO. So let's see. I, this is a Madame Chantilly pattern um, called Autumn is Coming, I think. I started it in Mania, finished it last month, maybe. Um, it's stitched mostly the call for DMC, but I changed the white is a color in cotton, I think, and so is this leather is a color in cotton. It got a little variegation, which is nice. Um, I really liked this. This is stitched on a 25 count mushroom, Lugana, over two, and then I finished it in a, this is a wreath that came from Walmart. Um, so the wreath you can see the little welcome sign on the back. I just put two magnets on there. And just magnets to it, so that's pretty easy. That way I can change it out if I ever get tired of it, but, um, and it was easy because I didn't have to think about picks. <laughs> but yeah, I like this. I can't decide if I'll put it on my the outside of my front door. I kind of get nervous. It's covered, but I get nervous about my rain hitting it or water damage. 
Um, and then last FFO, this is another Stitching with the Housewives. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, Hello Pumpkin, this is from their What's in My Cup last month release. So I'll stitch on 14 count chalkboard Ada, finished on mat board, some fabric mat board. Um, this is the container that Priscilla finished it on that I got from uh, Michael's. I did see something very, very similar at Walmart too. I think the price was relatively the same. Um, I just put it on there like that. And this little pick on the top is also magneted, which I made. I, I don't love it, but it takes a little practice, I think, to get get good at those <laughs> bows and, and whatnot. So it's not terrible. I'll put it somewhere in my house. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm very ready for fall. <laughs> Everything fall. It's still very hot here. It's still in the 90s. Almost every day, um, but that's okay. I can still decorate for fall when I want. When I'm ready. Okay, next I'll do my finishes, but they're not fully finished. So this one I'm super happy about. Um, what can I put behind here? Um, <clears throat> it's called Begin Low by Bent Creek. I started this in Mania uh, and it says a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. This was super cute, super fun. I stitched, I think it's some of the called for and some just from stash. It's on an 18 count charcoal Ada. Um, oh, there's a needle in it still. 18 count charcoal Ada that, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to add <laughs> to that. Um, probably put this in a frame. This is how how the model is finished. Oh, and there were it came with some beads. I don't know if you can see that some beads that go like here and here. I did I didn't like it the beads, so I just added a few more of these little white <clears throat> white things. Um, so this was super fun. I'm really happy to have this done. Um, so that's begin row. Yes. Okay, next one. These are kind of out of order of when I finished them. I just threw them in a pile. <laughs> but this, I showed a cup in my last video, I think, and it's finally, it's finished. Um, this is called Thankful by Stone Street Stitchworks. You don't know yet how I'll fully finish it. I stitched with the call for DMC. Um, and this is, I think it's a 28 count. It looks like a mushroom even weave or something. I don't, it, I got it off a stash of mode. It was unnamed. <clears throat> um, that's that. Okay, this one is called Boo. It's by Crochet Agogo. She is, um, has an Etsy. The uh, store and she sells PDFs. She's got she's an Italian designer. Has some really cute stuff. Um, so I started this in Mania and I finished it while I was on vacation. Um, stitched with a called for DMC, except for this broom is in some. Um, I think it's color and cotton over dyed that I used. This is a 14 count Ada. I remember what it's called. It's like natural or something like that. Um, this is another big finish. This is the um, uh, Bloom and Grow Cell. It was a stitch along by um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And I showed it before. I was a couple months behind, but I also got this one finished up while I was on vacation. Stitched on 16 count Ada, called for DMC. I got the kit from from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, um, and this I'll I'll frame. I might I don't know yet. I'm not in a hurry to FFO it. I guess. <clears throat> okay, this one I kind of hemmed and hawed about it, but I'm gonna call it a finish because I kind of 
I did not want to, every time I pull it out, I kind of like, I just didn't want to stitch on it. And this is the only, so this is um, Gingerbread Village. I got the, all the little house patterns um, as a kit from Fat Quarter Shop. And I had wanted to stitch it all as one piece, so hence the big, big old piece of fabric. But I'd go back and look at it, and it just looks like so much brown that I don't think I'm, I just, I don't want to stitch it. Um, I want to spend my time stitching things I actually want to stitch. And so I, I had this, um, I got this, the train part finished a while ago before Mania. And then I, you know, I had moved on to this little house down here. But like I said, every time I pulled it out, I just kind of was like, Ugh, I don't really want to work on this. And it was, it just felt like a chore and I don't, I don't want that. So I'm going to rip these stitches out, um, finish this probably as a little pillow um, and call it done. <laughs> I still have the pattern. So if I want to go back and stitch it, I can, but I don't think I will. Um, and I'll hopefully be able to salvage some of this fabric, but this is a 16 count beta. So, um, I'm not sure of the sure, but it's probably the call for. Something like the lamb's wool or something. Here's all the the patterns. I don't I don't remember what it was called for, but there is that. So that's a finish. Okay, two more. Um, I didn't talk about this in my last video, but I'm doing for September, well, for the next year, I'm doing a um, magazine monthly challenge by, it started by Carolyn Seasook Stitch, Carolyn and um, Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches. There's a Facebook group for it. Um, so basically the goal is to just stitch from your magazines, stitch more out of your magazines and that kind of challenges you that way. So I'm participating in it. I, um, there is like a monthly challenge that you set and then they do an acrostic and you know, let's do, make it your own. So my, um, I, for some reason planned to do four projects. One of them's big, one of them I'll show you as a whip is the, um, well I can show you now, is the, um, oh, Priscilla's year, what is this called? Seasons and Chalk Art. So she collaborated with, with um, Kathy Haberman, Hands on Designs. So the year in chalk art, this is like my big, big challenge, or whatever you want to call it. And I got a very minimal start. Um, stitched on 16 count chalkboard with black beta. Um, sorry, there's lots all over it, but chalkboard black beta. I have the called for colors. Um, and I, my goal is to finish that in FFO it. This before fall officially starts would be wonderful, but that might not happen. But so that, that's one of my whips. And then for the acrostic, I picked like three or four other smalls to do just from magazines to fit in the acrostic. Um, and I forgot the paper, it's over there. I'll show it to you next time, I think, if I remember. <laughs> But I, um, I got two finished. So this is called Halloween Mosaic. It is in this, um, the Halloween 2020 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. I'll finish it as a little pillow. Um, this stitched up in like two days, two and a half days. I use the, oh, I don't think I, I use some of the colorful colors, but I changed this grass to, it's just an over dyed because I didn't, they had like the stitching as kind of a checkerboard stitching and I did not want to do that. <laughs> and then I didn't have some, one of these yellows is a little bit brighter, but it's okay. I stitched on a, it's this 30, r and 30 count Cafe Kona. It's just something I got in a bunch and a stash unload off of the stash unloading site. And then this is another one. This is, I think it's called Autumn Flowers. This is also in Just Cross Stitch Magazine, but it was from October 2017. So this was super quick. I just did it in a night last night. I, I um, started it and finished it. It's I pull colors from Stash. This 
This is Sassy Brass, um, Color and Cotton Sassy Brass. No, Plaza Colorworks. This green is pine needles, I think. The yellow is honeycomb, and the base is a week's molasses, week's Dyworks molasses. Um, but yeah, it was quick. This is probably a 30 or 32 count linen. Again, from stash unloading, so I don't know for sure. Um, but that's all. That's a lot of finishes, huh? I started just tracking last month how much I was stitching and like, I don't count count hours or count stitching, but I was keeping track of when I started things and when I finished things. And so last month I started 11 new starts <laughs> and I finished 10. So it wasn't all, I didn't, not all of the new starts were finishes, but a lot of them were, and some of the finishes were like older projects. So that was, that was, I don't know, kind of interesting to keep track of. And then, uh, so I started doing that for this month too. Okay, so now I will go on to this. A lot of these I took with me on vacation, so they got some, some progress. Um, um, I worked on before I left and I didn't bring them with me, but okay, so this is the one I was telling you about. This is called Winter Deer by Stitch Rovia. Um, I'll insert a picture here. Um, and this is the one that this is my oldest whip. I started it November 2018 or so, and I want to finish it um, before this winter, so a couple months, you know, before the end of the year. And I got a lot of progress from when I last showed you. Um, so I got this tree, it's all outlined, I just have to fill in. This mountain is up, that's the top of it, I just gotta fill in a lot of this. I finished filling in this cloud, which it looks like I'm missing a stitch on there, but I'm not. Um, Finish this cloud, I just gotta finish this tree and it'll be done. Um, there's obviously fill in here, but yeah, I should definitely, definitely be able to finish this this year. Especially if I put like another day or two into it, or well, maybe week into it, <laughs> that would be done. Um, but I think my stitching time is gonna become limited because I kind of unofficially accepted a job. Um, I guess that's a life update, but I, I, um, had an interview this earlier this week for a pediatric nurse practitioner position and they sent me the contract. And so I'm going to look over it and, and probably accept, um, which it's full time. So my stitching will be a lot limited, but I wanted to go back to work and yeah, I think it'll be good. I am a family nurse practitioner, so I have I've worked with kids, but I haven't worked um, solely with kids, so it'll be different. It'll be a good learning experience. Um, okay. Sorry, back to the stitching. <laughs> this uh, next whip is the October truck. I um, it's, just, it's called for colors, called for fabric. I got the October word finished. I changed the top, as you can see, there's chickens on the top of there. Like I've said before, I don't really decorate with chickens, so I just changed it to a little pumpkin. I haven't started the truck yet, but I probably will start it here soon, so I can have that finished for October. Um, the next one is a cell. This is, sorry, crinkle, crinkle. This is, um, Kathy Haberman's new talk talk. Let's talk autumn. Um, and so I started this, the cell stitch along started on the 15th of August. Stitching it with a call for DMC. I only put like a day into this, so I didn't get very far, but um, sorry for the, you can see it. I got this outlined and I gotta add in the light. I'm using Call for DMC. That's a 16 count chalkboard black beta. Um, I don't know. I'd like to have that finished for this year. I have 
It's a lot of them. There's just a lot of digits. <laughs> um, okay, this one is Halloween Owls by Madame Chantilly. Um, and this is, I showed this to you before, I only got a little bit more progress. Hardly anything, I think I just added the orange. <laughs> I showed it to you last time, and I got this vine so that I could figure out how much fabric I needed and cut it, cut it down off the top. This is a Be Stitch Me fabric, 32 count um, linen, it's opalescent linen and boot camp, I think. And I'm stitching it with, let me get some called for some, just from my stash, the Victorian model. I brightened up the pumpkin and the, the purple in it. Those are Victorian model. And of course, what have you? Um, this one, I don't know if I've shown it to you. I did, I have shown this to you before. It's um, Autumn Blessings by uh, Waxing Moon Designs. This is a mania start. Um, I don't think I got a whole lot into it. Maybe I had some more words. Um, I want to finish this this year, and I had an idea to like either find a wreath of leaves or make a wreath of leaves and put it in there, put it in that somehow. This is stitched in a 16 count, um, I think it's like white chocolate, Ada, and with mostly the called for floss. I want to finish it, but I, I don't know if I will this year. Dot dot boost design bag, super cute. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so this was a mania star. This was back when I was trying to do arbitrary August before I went on vacation. <laughs> um, mania star, Country Cottage Needleworks Liberty Lane. I'm doing Priscilla, um, Priscilla's floss conversion. So they're a little deeper colors. <clears throat> and this is a pathetic amount of work that I have on it. And I, when I pulled it out, I only did uh, the little faces. I had this checkerboard bottom done, and so I just added these faces. And I guess I just didn't feel like working on it that day. I'm finding that I more like to stitch on things. So I'm, I like to stitch seasonally, and I like to stitch on projects that are in that season. And so pulling this out in summer, which I guess it's still kind of summery, but I just didn't, didn't feel like it. Okay, another mania start. This is called Valentine Row by Bent Creek. Stitched on a 25 count Lugana over two. I changed the colors. It's pulled from stash. Um, I got all of this done when I worked on Imania, so I just added this a little bit. This really wouldn't take me that much longer, another day or two, but I probably won't. Like I said, it's kind of out of season, so I probably won't work on it again until either it has to really call to me or closer to Valentine's Day. Okay, last whip. Not sure what's in here. Oh, I don't think I put a whole lot of work into this either, but this is Celebrate Spring by Madame Chantilly. I'm in the um, club through Happy Little Stitch Shop. You basically get this, um, you get one of her tiered trays with the DMC floss once a month, and the, we get the fabric every other month because you can fit two of these tiered trays on a 16 count fat quarter. Ada, this is um, Ada 16 count French lace. This is what I have on it. Uh, I don't, you haven't seen this before, so it's, this is how far I am. I think I just put in some more flowers last time, but I, gosh, when this stitch along first started, I was gangbusters on it. I really wanted to finish, but I, um, Kind of petered out. They're they're big, <laughs> big projects. So, I, um, yeah, I 
I will finish this before next spring, but I'm not going to work on it anytime soon. Maybe little stitches here and there because the motifs are fun to do. Okay, what's next? Um, haul. I think haul is it. Like I said, I have a lot of haul. Some of it is just my regular monthly clubs, but I purchased some things. Um, so like I said, I'm in the, the Happy Little Stitch Shop club. And this came this month. You get the you get the um, floss, DMC, you get the pattern, and then I already have a fat quarter. I already have the other half of a fat quarter for this. I might start this soon. Um, but I definitely won't finish it before Halloween because like I said, it's huge. And then I'm also in the, the same club for the cottage of the month. I said that earlier. Um, so we got October. And we got the floss. It's the DMC floss. And I, I have the fabric. It's just a white chocolate Swigart 32 count linen. Um, you're a, I was able to cut them down and I can fit six ounces on a fat quarter. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, so I am in um, a Stitch Me's Fabric of the Month. And we've just rejoined recently and I get 32 count Lugana. So if you watch Floss Tube, you've seen this before. This is the Mocha. Sorry, I didn't take it out of the package. But I'm going to stitch Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs on it um, with DMC. So it only takes four colors. I'm using um, 4.98 for the red, 5.20 for the green, 8.39 for brown, and 3.45 for the gold. So I think it'll look gorgeous on this fabric. Um, and I plan to start that on the 25th of, of this month. So Sampler September, if you've heard of it. And then Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch is another floss tuber that they started it on the first um, for what did they call it? Christmas samplers. What did she that's some hashtags stitch Christmas garden September or something like that. I don't know. They started on the first. I might start it before the 25th, but I was thinking 25 stitching, why not start it that day? It won't be finished before this um, Christmas, but I think it'll look beautiful on that fabric. Um, next is, okay, I can't remember where I got this from, oh joyous day. I think it was from um, Fire Poppies was having a sale. They had like their one year anniversary, it was 20% off patterns or something like that. Um, so Fire Poppies is a brick and mortar but you can order online, and that's what I did. Um, I got a couple things from them. I got some fabric. I got this pattern and I think a few other patterns, but um, oh, joyous day. The floss is coming from another shop, um, which I'll have to show you next time. I think it's Anita's Little Stitches. I heard about the shop from um, Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. And she offered a few floss packs for some Blackbird design charts. So I got this one, Ojoy, Ojoy's Day, All Joys for Thine, and one of the, she works with Willing Hands or something like that from, from the, the Blackbird sewing book. So I'll do this pattern. I think I'm going to stitch it on this Lugana 28 count. Uh, old stationary Lugana by Seraphim Fabrics. This also came from Fire Poppies. I've never stitched on Seraphim. Um, I heard a lot of people kind <clears> of <throat> sing its praises, so I wanted to try it. And uh, that's that. I haven't calculated it out. It should fit. It looks like it's I got a quarter yard, so hopefully it'll fit. I mean, it can't be kind of big, but. Um, this was another fabric, 32 count linen by Seraphim from Fire Poppies. It's pretty. Um, 
called Scout and I'll often see that. Just I don't have a project in mind yet for it, but I just wanted to wanted to try it. Okay. Um another one I got. This came from Jen Stitching Niche on on Etsy. I saw Misty Purcell's finish of this like two videos ago and it's gorgeous. And I'd seen it a couple on a couple other Instagram posts and kept saying, man, that's that's pretty. I wanna stitch that. I wanna stitch that. But no, I don't need another project. And then I saw hers with the frame and it just looked beautiful. So here it is. And I asked um Jen Stitching Niche to put it up with the floss, so um she did. Cool. Um so that's convenient. And then I'm trying to decide which fabric to stitch it on. And I have this 32 count Lugana in s'mores, which is by B Stitch Me. I think, I think it would be pretty on this, and this is probably what I'm going to go with. But I also have this 36 count Oaken by Picture This Plus, um, which would be pretty. Some of it has to depend on the size because I don't need like a huge thing like that in my house, but um, I don't know. I haven't ever stitched on 36 count, but the idea of using one, I'm just looking at the holes, the idea of using one strand seems um, appealing, but I think I definitely would need I can see the holes that I would probably need a magnifier for it, um, which I don't have one. Okay, more haul. Uh, this I got also from Jen Stitching, which she had, um, let's see, it's 32 count um, 18th century blackbird. This is the called for in the new, with the needle and thread. I think it's the Hilda Boo and Sunflowers too. And I, I really like the picture of the, the fabric in that, in the photo on that pattern, but this looks so much darker. Um, so I don't know if I will use this. I might just use the fabric I'd already pulled for it. Um, but this would, this would be good to do with one of the chalkboard, a chalkboard piece. I don't know. It's pretty fabric. It's dark. I thought it would be more purpley, and it really isn't. Um, but I'll use it eventually. And then I was very enabled by Fat Quarter Shop's floss tube. Oh, two weeks ago, Kimberly showed um, her finishes of these little house needleworks. What do they call it? Autumn. What do they call it? It's just their seasonal houses, I guess. Um, and it comes, like, it comes with a pattern. And, sorry, I don't want to show you the pattern and the, um, the silk. And I haven't ever stitched with silk, so I wanted to try it. And Kimberly's looked beautiful. And she said she stitched it on a 28 count Lugana and was able to get all of them in one, uh, one uh, fat quarter, so I got that. Um, I've kind of been toying with the idea to use 2021 as like a, I have lots of either season, like four seasons or monthly um, patterns that I want to stitch. So I was kind of debating about 2021 would maybe be a my year to stitch monthly stuff. But then you get distracted by other patterns, so I don't, I don't know if that'll work out. But okay, this also came from Fat Quarter Shop, um, and I'm a doofus, so I ordered two. So it probably will be a giveaway at some point. <laughs> but this is Trick or Treat um, by Priscilla and Chelsea, stitched with the Housewives. I saw somebody on Instagram stitching it on purple. I'm going to do that. I pulled some, I don't know if it's called for or not, but I pulled, I pulled floss from Stash and I 
um, how to change around the purples a little bit, obviously, to match that. But I wasn't going to stitch this. I think it's super cute, but I wasn't going to stitch it this year. I still might not stitch it this year, but I saw that person do it on purple, and I was like, yep, gotta do it. <laughs> I like purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. It's not my favorite. Okay, almost done. These are some um, patterns that I got. Some came from Fat Quarter Shop and some came from Fire Poppies, I think. Um, so, Peace on Orange, this was from Fat Quarter Shop. I think just think it's beautiful. Um, this collection tralala -la bouquet ovale this seems like a good spring piece to me and i don't have a lot of spring stitches so um these are part of the garden club series by blackbird design so i got fairy garden um honeybee i have two others i don't i would i would stitch them individually and finish them as pillows or something i wouldn't i don't want to stitch the whole thing and then I'm in the Lori Holt Stitch Card Club from Fat Quarter Shop, so the pattern should be delivered any day. But I got the floss kit from Fat Quarter Shop. And then last but not least, Strawberry Fields Forever. Um, I've just seen a bunch of people stitching this, and it's beautiful. I remember when I first started back into cross stitch, I was like, why do people like houses so much? I don't think I'll ever stitch houses. Here I am, <laughs> stitching all the houses. Um, so a few more, I think these came in before I went on vacation and I placed another order with Fat Quarter Shop. And so I got this Hop into Spring Autumn by Luhu Stitches. They're just cute. I got this Across Stitch Christmas. I saw lots of people talking about this on Floss Tube. And then Fat Quarter Shop said they got it in and I just, there's some cute stuff in here that I like. And that's a pretty, seems like a pretty nice book. There's some, like these are little bookmarks. I like that one. Um, so there's, there's definitely stuff in here I would stitch. And then I ordered a project bag from Stitching Madness on Etsy. Um, she posted it on Instagram and I was like, yeah, that's really cute. I like those pumpkins. I want it. So even though I can make my own project bags, sometimes it's nice to just order them. Um, I don't need any more project bags, but these are cute. Good quality. I like the vinyl. It's pretty thick. Um, it's big. It's bigger than the ones I make. Um, so I could put a bigger project in here. <laughs> um, but that's cute. I would order from her again. And then last but not least, I got my Victorian model. Um, threads for this month and I was a little they're they're pretty they're very pretty it was but I was a little underwhelmed by them because I feel like I've got the same colors like they look very similar to the ones I've already got they're not named the same and comparing them they're a little different but it and, and it, I don't know I was just a little I'm gonna open the package and be like oh I love the colors I think it's maybe this pink. I don't, it's called pom pom. I just, I don't care for the pink too much. Um, I think that's just because I don't like that color pink, but these are pretty. I don't use them. I'm, I'm enjoying more and more kidding up projects from my stash instead of going to the store and buying the called for colors. Um, just because I have a large stash that I want to use, but it's also kind of fun to just be able to stash that, I guess. Um, so that being said, I'm kind of torn. I want to reorganize my DMC. Right now I have it in in um, floss away bags on big metal rings by number. And it's cumbersome to go through. And I kind of, I've seen people storing them in in like photo boxes and bags or with like note cards in the bag so they're more stiff and I thought about doing that. I really like the way Little Yellow House Crafts did hers. She did a, she's not her DMC but she showed her overdies by color. Um, 
And I liked that method too, but I'm kind of torn. Like, I feel like if I go and organize my DMC by color, I might regret it because it's a little harder to find when you're getting up stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn about that. Okay, so what else can I tell you? Plans for September hmm. are big. <laughs> so like I said, I'm doing that magazine monthly challenge. I have two more smalls that I had planned to start and finish this month. Um, I have that big fall sign piece by Priscilla and um, Kathy Hagerman that I had planned to finish. Um, I wanted to start a few new things for Sampler September. Like I wanted to start that Away We Ride on the 13th for Dark 13 Stitching. I wanted to start Christmas Garden on the 25th for Mary 25. I also have um, Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor that I wanted to start. I got the Valdani um, floss and I've never stitched with that and it just seemed like a fun new thing to try and it's beautiful about I don't know if you've seen them Rosewood Manor the Quakers I really like the autumn one and I really like the uh summer one I don't like the winter one so much and the spring maybe I didn't buy it but I think I like it and I might stitch it someday ask for it for Christmas or something <laughs> and then I have Huckleberry Farm that I've I had kitted up for a couple months and I wanted to start it and I just haven't. So I was thinking to start those four, one, two, no, oh, five, and I wanted to start Spangled by Long Dog Sampler. So that's like all the starts planned. Oh, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. Um, and I really want to stay on top of the trucking series and the cottage series because I just do. So lots of plans, um, don't have to stick to them, you know, it's just, they're arbitrary, <laughs> honestly, it's just kind of fun to plan sometimes. Um, um, let's see, I, I, I don't really have anything else to say, so you should check out that magazine monthly challenge group. Um, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun and it's kind of nice to know that I'm actually using the magazines I subscribe to. Um, so. There's that. I, um, like I said, I'm probably going to be going back to work. So I imagine if I, when I, if and when I do, these videos will probably go to every two weeks, maybe even monthly. It just depends on how much I have to show you. I won't start work for another two weeks, so I should be back next week. Hopefully I'll have a lot of stitching, maybe some FFOs to show you. Um, what else? I can't think of anything. Let's see. Hope you enjoyed my video. Lots of haul, lots of stitching, lots of... I was proud of four, fin four FFOs and one, two, three, four, five, six finishes. Even if one was kind of a cheater finish because I didn't finish the whole piece, I just decided to scrap it as a whip <laughs> and move on with my life. Um, yeah, so that is that. Oh, check out the Magazine Monthly Challenge group. I can give you the link to the Facebook group if you want, but message me first. If you liked what you saw, like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment. I um, had a few comments and a few new subscribers, so um, that's fun. I do, I'm looking for that interaction, so definitely ask me questions if you have any. Any feedback, can you hear me, can you not hear me, do I mumble? I don't know. That's maybe a double-edged sword to ask for that, but, um, okay. Anyways, it was good to chat with you guys, and I hope you have a good week. Um, good weekend. It's Labor Day on Monday. I didn't say the date. It is Friday, September 4th today. A little bit late, but, uh, Friday, September 4th, so Labor Day's on Monday. My husband has a long weekend, which is great. Um, he's watching the kids right now while I record this. Um, okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Happy stitching, and um, I'll see you next time.